Turkey, one of Hamas's key allies and one of Israel's biggest trade partners, has just cut off most exports to Israel. Turkey says the embargo will cover 54 categories of goods, including concrete, steel and fuel, and says it's because Israel refused to let it carry out airdrops into Gaza. There is no excuse for Israel to block our attempt to airlift aid to the starving people of Gaza. Faced with this situation, we decided to take a series of new measures against Israel. These measures, approved by our president, will be implemented step by step, without delay. Relations between the two countries have withered since the war with Hamas began after the terrorist slaughter of Israeli border communities on October 7th. But until now, trade hadn't been touched. Turkey is Israel's fifth biggest trade partner, exporting more than $7 billion worth of goods to Israel annually. Raw materials such as iron, steel and plastics taking up the majority of the list. We are not talking about like uh, very replaceable goods. Uh, we are talking about strategic goods like steel, uh, like marble and uh, cement. Uh, these are all uh, very much related to the construction sector. And uh, this is uh, something related with the national security uh, of the state of Israel. But the reasoning may be more political than diplomatic. Erdogan's party just lost a sweeping series of local elections because his traditional Islamist voter base didn't turn out. Many cited continued trade with Israel as the cause. It is very much related to the Turkish politics. During the whole election campaign, uh, Mr. Erdogan was attacked by the Turkish opposition, especially uh, by the uh, Islamist New Welfare Party, that uh, this particular party uh, asked Mr. Erdogan to put an end to all trade relations with Israel. Turkey maintains the embargo will continue as long as Israel fights in Gaza. But as many Israelis have abandoned Turkish products amidst souring relations, it's unlikely to ever recover.